Hey, what up y'all? Nurse David here coming at you from the den with another nursing video. Today I'm going to be talking about me transitioning from bedside nursing into nursing informatics. Trust me, I have tried to find a video like this on what you can expect, what I could expect when I was transitioning from one to the other and I could not. So hopefully if you're doing the same, you'll find this a little bit helpful and relax your nerves just a little bit because going from the bedside to nursing informatics, it's a complete role change. So right now I'm working as in the Department of Nursing Informatics, but my actual role is a clinical support analyst. Which just goes to show you that when you're searching for jobs, you have to get creative. You know, the job is not always going to say nursing informatics or informatics nurse or health informatics. That is kind of the keyword that I would punch in, but you really have to read the, read the description to find out if this job is truly in the field that you're looking for. In this case, health informatics slash nursing informatics. But let's back up for just one second and let me tell you a little bit of the backstory. I started off in healthcare as a nursing assistant where I did that for three years. I went to school, got my RN, and I was working at the bedside for six years. I got my RN and then I went to my BSN and then I went to my MSN. And I'm gonna tell you more about that. I do not necessarily think that you need an MSN to get into this field and honestly my uh, director right now has even told me that it's a little unnecessary but yeah I'm getting ahead of myself so I got my RN then my BSN and then my MSN and once I did that that's when I finally started looking for jobs in health informatics nursing informatics whatever but I left the bedside mainly because I count my nursing assistant years as bedside experience so I was at the bedside for nine years and honestly the one thing that I loved, there are two things actually that I loved about bedside nursing. And one, that was the team that I worked with. That's why I stayed on the same unit for so long, is because I had an amazing team. We were all running around doing our thing in the mix. So it was a little chaotic, but it was also pretty fun. But two, and this is how I know I wasn't in it for the right reasons. It wasn't exactly like patient care and all of that. My second main thing that I loved about bedside nursing was working three days a week, having four days off. And it's these two things that kept me in it so long, but not exactly loving what you do um, and only loving aspects of what you do will lead to you getting burnt out. And at this point, even though I loved working three days a week and I loved my coworkers, I did not love what I was doing anymore. I was not passionate about it. I was good at it by this point because I had been doing it for so long, but just because I'm good at it doesn't mean that I was okay with it. And I knew that it was time for some change, time for me to Time for me to learn something new and jump into a whole different career path. And yes, going from three days a week to five days a week was probably the most intimidating part about the transition. It really got in my head about, I'm not going to have any time off. I'm going to literally be working all the time. So that's probably one of the main things that got me in my head when I was transitioning from one role to the other. But at the same time, I knew something needed to change. So that is why once I finished with my master's degree, and let's talk about that for a moment. So you don't need a master's. I have a MSN in health informatics. You do not need an MSN to get a job in nursing informatics. There are several people on my team, and I'm only the second person on my team to have a master's in health informatics and my current team is uh, 10 people so uh, one other girl and me along with my director we all have our masters but the rest of them they do not because it is not necessary and for some reason I felt as if it was and it's actually something I really wanted to do because I enjoyed going to school and I wanted to continue moving my career up, my education up, and plus my work was paying for it at the time, so why not? But if your work is not paying for it, you do not need to get your master's in nursing informatics. I would highly suggest that you go and try and find a job um, 
with your bachelor's and I wish that's something I would have done because once I finished my schooling it took me 10 months to finally get a job and I had interviewed probably six or seven times a couple of times with the same people but I got turned down so many times because I just didn't have experience so I'm just saying don't necessarily focus on your masters focus on getting a job in the field and then if they want you to go get your masters then that's a different story on my last day at the bedside five days later I started on Monday in my informatics job and people told me I should have took time off but honestly I did not want to and I have no regrets but I was so excited to get into this field because I had been applying and interviewing for the past 10 months. I had went to school for the past 18 months. This is something I was ready to do. And when I got there Monday, I was excited, but I was also in shock just because it's a completely different world, you know? They say that you can take nursing in so many different streams. And although I'm not a bedside nurse, I am still a nurse. I still have my license. I still have to renew every so many years. I forget what it is, but I am still a nurse. So it's just interesting to see how many different lines of nursing you can go down. If you're not happy with this, you can go down and you could do this. If you're not happy there, you could have a desk job as a nurse. Now, I'm not saying informatics is a desk job because you can honestly make it whatever you want to be. And that's what I'm really liking about this role is the amount of independence. And I thought I would lose that when I left the bedside because bedside nurses are kind of like independent contractors, you know? There are maybe seven to 10 nurses on the unit and we somewhat work together, but we're all doing our own thing really. We're all the experts on our patients. And although we do come together at points, we're really working independently for 12 hours, three days a week. And that freedom of being kind of like your own boss as a nurse, I thought I would lose that. I thought I wasn't gonna be in that role anymore. But coming here, one thing that I have picked up and learned for myself is that you gotta create work. And if you're staying busy, it's gonna help the time go by faster. It's gonna make you feel better. But if you're not staying busy at the same time, there's not too many people covering over you, making sure you're doing every little thing that you need to do. So it's really up to you and you're still, you still have that same amount of independence in this role as I did in bedside nursing. Now when it comes to mental health, and that's the reason that I went through this whole change, is because by the end of my bedside career, I was getting a report from the oncoming nurse or, or offgoing nurse and I was becoming anxious. I was getting yelled at by patients or their families and it was making me very anxious and I was just not happy doing that, you know? I did not like going into work feeling that type of way. Running around, knowing that I have things to do, knowing that people were not happy at me even though I'm trying my hardest. And so when it came to me leaving, I feel like I had a lot to do a lot to do with mental health. Not only physically, because I'm literally running for 12 hours, but mentally. So I had to really take a moment to say, hey, I'm gonna miss these three days a week, I'm gonna miss my friends, but I need to take care of myself and do what's right for me, and kind of slow down just a bit. And that's what I've done in this role, is really kind of slow down just a bit. Yeah, issues come to me in nursing informatics, and the thing is, is that there's always a workaround. I don't need the exact answer right at this moment. There's not that stress weighing down on me, that burden like, you need to get this right, or we're gonna come for you, we're gonna yell at you, uh, we're gonna come tell your supervisor the way it was over here. I do not feel that amount of stress here. I feel like I can take on tasks, sip and research, and then provide the answer. And I feel like this has really helped, helped me mentally, not only mentally, but then also physically, because although some may call this a desk job, I would not necessarily call this a desk job because you can be as active or as inactive as you want. Personally, I like being engaged on the unit. So my hospital that I'm covering, it has three floors, but it's a fairly big facility. And what I find is best for me is to go around in the whole facility, gather projects, come back to my workstation, get the answers, email them out, call them, or just go back and visit them and help them fix it, 
And once I've completed my problem list, I do it again. I circle around the whole building, gather some more problems, and I keep working like that. And trust me, it might sound like a busy process, but really I have time in between to process what I'm doing. And really, I wish I had this type of time to make safer decisions at the bedside, but the reality is that you just don't. Getting into this role was a bit difficult with so many interviews, with so much competition, with people having being certified in the field versus people having their masters or people just having super user experience. It is a very competitive field to get into, but I'm happy that I continued to push through these interviews one by one, even though each time I got denied, it was kind of a little shot to myself like it hurt and I would somewhat take it personally but honestly don't because the competition is stiff but yeah that's pretty much what I've been up to I know I haven't been making much YouTube videos lately but it's because I've just been trying to kind of master the role that I'm in right now I do hope to be posting more but if you have any questions on nursing informatics go ahead and leave them in the comments down below if you're thinking from leaving the bedside and going into nursing informatics tell me why why do you want to leave the bedside and why do you want to get into this field make sure you like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later thanks bye